Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're back on Construction Simulator and we're going to crack on with more of these museum missions because there's lots to do. So without further ado, let's get our hard hats on and crack on. Well, here we are, everybody. We've uh, arrived on site for the next part of the uh, cultural heritage part of Construction Simulator. Uh, so we're going to go and talk to that polite gentleman over here uh, who looks very dapper in his suit and let's see what he wants us to do uh, in this episode. It's the museum director, everybody. You came at just the right time. Some construction workers uncovered medieval armaments while they were working at this site. When I briefly assessed the finds, I noticed some correlations with our monastery artifacts and could hardly believe it. It's the sword of the knight on the monastery. These insignia leave no room for doubt. He must have carried the damsel from the monastery here under cover of night, and then he was probably besieged while defending her from attackers. Since the restoration work has already been completed, we will erect the knight statue that we found in the monastery here in the spot where he left his last traces. After all, he's part of the city's history, even if we still don't really know what happened here. Right then, so it looks like we're uh, erecting a statue. Um, yes, I'm a child. Um, so, construction stage B, transport. Retrieve artifacts, archaeological find. Well, let's just have a look in Thal. As you see, we've got a very big hole, broken pipe, so I can only imagine what we're going to be doing this episode. Right, so let's see what we need. So if we go across to jobs here, there we go. So yes, we need uh, our truck with a crane on it, flatbed crane. Right, so let's sort this out. So um, let's go back across to here. Um, and we need machines. Um, which one have we got now? It's that one in it. Tractor with crane. That's the one we want, but we haven't got a flatbed on that. Hang on a minute. I think we have got one with a flatbed. That's this one, isn't it? There we go. So I've got a flatbed with the crane. And we're going to shimmy on in here. And uh, we'll park up on these uh, very nicely placed mats. There we go. I've got a funny feeling. That our cab is going to cause some kind of obstruction here but anyway we'll put we'll pop that there for the time being um pressing the wrong buttons and we are going to change mode here we go fingers crossed there's no obstructions should be good to go right so let's uh let's get this crane on the go looks like we're getting that out of there with there's something in that thole spinner around Let's spin the old camera around as well. Here we go. So like I said, fingers crossed. Our cab is not in the way here. We've got to get rid of the broken pipe. And it looks like there's kind of artifacts in there. Is it the sword he was talking about? Let's lower that down. There we go. There we go. Look at that, everybody. Where's this going to go? We're going to go... Where does this have to go? Oh, Christ, we're, we're, we're smashing the artifact up, everybody. Just trying to figure out where this is supposed to... Is it supposed to go in the back of my truck? Is that where it's supposed to go? Oh, no, you, you're extending the arm there, son. There we go. Let's bring it in. Bring it in. Let's try and put it in the back of the uh, of this truck. Funny feeling that's not the case. Is it? Okay, maybe it is. It's asking me to pick it up again. Ah, ha, 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 ha. That's where it's supposed to go. There's a box open over there. I think it's supposed to go in there. Well, they didn't make that very clear to me, did they? Okay, so let's pop this in here then. Um, let's spin a rooney it. There we go. Pop it down. And in it goes. Right, next job. I 
There we go. We're going to get rid of this broken pipe, I think. Let's pull that arm back a smidge. And we'll uh, pop it down like so. There we go. Right, and I'm sure this is going in our flatbed. Let's uh, bring the arm in. Otherwise, we're not going to get it in the flatbed at all, are we? My indicator's going on this truck for the looks of it. Well, let's just, just have a quick mooch around uh, to make sure it isn't going anywhere but there. But yeah, I can only presume it is. Let's uh, swing her around here now. There we go. And she pops. Right. Let's uh, just jump out the truck a minute because I've got a funny feeling we're going to need to secure that in its box. So let's secure the artifact. There we go. Jobs are good. So clear the marked area. Let's jump back in our truck as we do a little jump for joy there. There we go. Pop back in there. Let's uh, reset the crane. And uh, we'll change the mode on it so we'll get rid of the legs. Yeah, so we've got to dispose of the broken sewer element and deliver a special component. Right, so I'm going to go and get rid of this sewer pipe and then we'll come back and uh, we'll deliver the special components, which is those wooden crates. So, uh, a little bit of delivery work this week on Construction Simulator. I wonder, actually, can we... Do you think we can squeeze that wooden crate in here at the same time? It looks like there might be room. We'll give it a go, eh? Let's give it a go. I know it's a bit of faff. But uh, we might as well try it while we're here. Let's change mode again. But I think we can fit whichever crate. Is it supposed to be both crates or just the one crate? So what's blocked now? Oh my lordy lord. God, do you know this game? Times. Right. That. Nothing's blocked there now. If you if you say it's blocked now, you're just being finicky. Yeah, we need both of them. Right, so let's give it a go anyway. I reckon we'll get both of them in here. I reckon we will. You watch me fail now. Probably won't get both of them in here. But we might as well kill two birds one stone and do two deliveries while we're out and about. Then we'll have to go back and forth, picking different things up. And oh, hang on a minute. Look, there's a. There's a thing over there, a silhouette for the broken pipe. Now that's making me wonder now. Ah, right, okay. Maybe we got rid of the broken pipe over there. And then we go and deliver these uh, special components somewhere else. Let's see if we can get... Yeah, it looks like we can squeeze this at the side here. I'm going to send it to the bottom. No, up, up, up. Now that way. Right, spin it around. That's it. And down. Perfect. Right, now this one. Like so, let's connect that. Right, bring the arm right in, Mr. CGD. Perfect. And then uh, we can get this one in. Just there. Excellent. Right, so uh, let's reset that. Let's pop that there like so. And then we'll drive around there, pop the sewer pipe down where it's silhouetted over there. And then we can uh, go and deliver these other parts as well. Right, so there we go. We've got that uh, sewer component in there now. So it looks like as well we need to go and replace the sewer component. So we need to go and pick one of them up and deliver these special components, which are the wooden crates. 
So uh, I'm going to pack up here and then we'll crack on and deliver these and pick up the special component uh, to fix the sewer. So luckily for us, we were literally just round the corner uh, from the museum where this uh, dig site was. So we didn't have too far to drive at all. Very early in the morning here as well. People out and about on the way to work, doing their morning tasks, dropping the kids off at school. See, the traffic is quite heavy. We're going to be swinging a left here. Church bells are ringing as well. Come on, let's crack on. The traffic very heavy this morning. Oh, I thought we were going to be able to go then. In fact, is it night time? I thought it was the morning. Looks like it's the night time. I was completely wrong. Okay then, people are on the way home from work, picking the kids up from school and taking them home. So it's still busy, it's rush hour. I wondered it, I thought he was going to do a taxi life on me then and smash right into the back of me. E hey dear, honestly. So we're going to take a left across the bridge, we've got some red lights here. Right, so we're back at the museum as you can see. <laughs> I've not cleared my equipment uh, from the last job that we did. But anyway, we can, uh, we can get round it. Just leave that stuff there like that. We'll get it cleared away, don't worry. Right, so we need to drop these crates off just there. Now, fingers crossed. Uh, we can set up just here. So let's change mode. Fingers crossed uh, it lets us set up here. There we go. Excellent stuff. Okie dokie, so that is them dropped off there. So that's that job done. I pressed the wrong button again. I keep doing it. There we go. We need no, I've done it again. Reset mode. There we go. Now we can go into drive mode. Right, so the next job. Uh, let's go and pick up a uh, sewer component. So where are we gonna grab that from? Let's have a look at the map. Um Where do we get the sewer component from? Do we just get that from the building material dealer. Should we go and have a look? Right, so we're at the uh, building material dealer. Let's see. Yes, they do sell them. Excellent stuff. Superb. Right, now, is that... That's the one we want there, isn't it? That's the one. Well, let's add that. Uh, let's go to checkout. Um... We can actually have it delivered to the construction site for 150 credits. We might as well, haven't we? So let's purchase that. There we go. So we've had that delivered to the construction site. Splendid stuff. Right, let's get back to the job. Okay, so we've got it loaded on. We've pulled up to the hole again. And now we're going to unload it and fix it into place. So that's that main sewer repaired and done and dusted. And we can move on to the next stage of this job. And then I think once we have this uh, component, this part of this uh, museum task done, we only have one more part left to do. Uh, and then we've completed it all and we can move on to the next one. There we go, so let's move this down. Like so, there we go. Spin her around a bit. There we go. Splendid stuff. All we've got to do is that. Superb, right. So let's clear the marked area. So let's reset the truck and uh, change into drive mode and we can clear the area and see what the next part of this job is. So we'll reverse up, get behind the blue line. There we go. And that is that done. So now we've got to fill this area with soil. Now I think the best machine for this I reckon would be the backhoe loader or the wheel loader. Shall we use the wheel loader? I reckon that'll be a good idea. Okay, so we've got the wheel loader. I don't know where I'm going here. We're we'll going to end up running a sign over here if we're not careful. Yep, completely screwed up here, aren't I? Just tried to squeeze through that hole. Right, here we go. We're going to load all this up and chuck it in that hole because we're good like that. Right, so let's lower this down. 
and then uh, we'll drive into this great big pile of dirt. Well, the bucket is full now. And let's lift it up like so. There we go, and we'll get this hole filled in a jiffy. It looks like there's dirt there we can use, actually. We'll end up having an accident at this rate. Aren't we? Let's... There we go. Beautifully done. Right, let's back up. Let's see if we can use some of this dirt that is at the side of the hole. Let's lower the bucket. See if we can pick some of this up. It looks like we can. Lifted the bucket up. Come on. Come on. Get closer. There we go. Drop that into the hole. 2% done. Blimey O'Reilly. Right, this is going to take a while. Um, so, especially with this bloody camera... There we go. Right, let's click it again. Let's put the bucket down. We might have been better with the dozer for this uh, first part. We could have just pushed this dirt in. Couldn't we? I think that would have been the easiest thing to do. Anyway, like I said, I'll crack on with this and uh, bring you guys back in when uh, we've completed a little bit more of the task. Welcome back. Right. So as you can see, we're about 56% done now. As we gather some more backfill here. Lifting up the bucket. And taking it over to the hole. This is, seems to be the uh, optimum position to fill from. You can see the dirt. You have to get very close now. Uh, to fill this hole up some reason we only got to 60 percent then so what i'm gonna do just gonna try something here because i'm not sure if that is actually filling the hole up or if it's counting or not there we go we've got to get a little bit closer i don't want to end up tipping there we go i thought so much so we're gonna have to get a little bit closer or find a new position uh, to fill up from we're up to 68% now let's put the bucket down change the buckets position there we go great stuff get that bucket nice and full there we go lift her up so we don't spill any let's see if we can get a little bit closer now without tipping the, the JCB into the hole we should be able to get a little bit closer now because of where we've filled her up. There we go. Oh, yes, we're up to 82% now. I reckon this last bucket full might just do as you know. Let's uh, straighten the bucket up again. There we go. Here we come for our next load. There we go. Right. Possibly one more for a little tiny bit, I reckon. Here we go. Let's go and uh, chuck this in anyway. And see where it gets us. As the daylight starts to break. There we go. Let's tip her in. Ooh, 96%. Yeah, a tiny bit more. A tiny bit more. How close can you get? Right, let's, uh, once again. As you can see, we've cleared loads of this, uh, of this backfill now. There we go. That'll do us. Let's swing her around. Dump this in. Like I said, we're not going to need all of it. But, better safe than sorry. Oh, no, 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 that was close. There we go. Area filled. But we need to clear the construction site, so I think the easiest thing to do here is just reset. Uh, let's jump out of there. 
leave that running outside someone's house first thing in the morning. We need to get rid of our truck as well. Enter. We need to clear this of the construction site. There we go. Stage complete. Okay, so we've got a lot to do now. We've got to remove the topsoil. So we'll just park this up here. And we'll jump out. Okie dokie, so we've got to remove all the topsoil from here. So I think our best option here is not to press that, but to press that to go across to machines. And we will use the dozer here. So the dozer's on site now. So this is going to remove the topsoil for us. One of the trickier machines to uh, to deal with, because as I've said before, you've got to use your shoulder buttons and your trigger buttons uh, to set the acceleration, etc. So let's just once again to reverse. I hold both of the shoulder buttons, and to go forward, I use both of the trigger buttons. So let's set the camera up here. Let's lower that down. There we go. Let's move the camera once more, so a decent position to see what we're doing. And if we move forward now, that should start removing the topsoil for us. There we go. Move backwards. And we're up to about 20 odd percent already. 25% Doing a thorough job And a fantastic job at the same time 30 odd percent now There we go And we'll move forward And we'll go back that way To get rid of that area there we go, and it should take us up to around about 50% by the time we get down to the bottom. Excellent stuff. Right, so let's spin her around. We've got 50% of this task done already. Spin it around that way. And then we'll start remove the topsoil from there. Big job breaking out here now. So we are building a statue. So I reckon there's going to be some of the dreaded concrete pouring coming up for this task. I think. Which I'm not overly keen on. It's a dreadful piece of machinery. And whoever come up with the control scheme for the concrete pourer deserves to go to hell. I hate using that piece of kit. I really do. It's an absolute bloody nightmare. Right, so what topsoil now? Have we got to get rid of the topsoil in the middle? You think as well? Let's try and see if that counts. No, that not doesn't seem to be the case. There we go. Right. Um, let's spin her around. Seems to be a little bit of topsoil still left over here and there. So we'll just keep wazzing round. Until I've got up to 100%. You can see a few bits and bobs here and there that we need to get shut off. And we are 98%. Let's look for some more big clumps of soil. We can possibly get shut off. There's some there I reckon. Get rid of that, 99, 100, there we go. Splendid job. Let's clear the marks area. Put our dozer to one side. There we go. Deliver and spread gravel. So let's jump out of that dozer now. So we're going to need uh, this bad boy, which is the dump truck. There we are with our dump truck and gravel as it spills out the back. Careful not to lose too much of it. 
Oh, as we're going to go in back and forth. Here we go. Right. Let's lift this up. Let's lift this up. There we go. We'll start spreading the gravel. Nice base. And nice path for uh, Joe Public to walk along. As they visit the statue. We're going to need a rake, I think, to spread all this out. Let's uh, tip it up a little bit more. There we go. Try not to go out of the yellow line. How much more is in there? I want to spill it out of the yellow line. Oh, that, I'm just going to have to dump it all there because otherwise we're going to go out of the yellow line. There we go, 64%. So, little trick. What we can do, put that down now. It does cost a little bit more money, but if we press that and press that, we can fill up with gravel while we're here. You see? And it saves us going back and forth. Like I said, it does cost a little bit more money as we spill it all over the place, but it does save us um, from going back and forth to the quarry and picking up more gravel, you see. Keep spreading it up to about 85% now. 90, 97, 98, 99, 100, there we go. Right, so let's clear the area. We get stuck on our piles of gravel that we've laid. You'll see now, as we do leave the area, that should spread itself out nicely. There we go, you see? So that's that done. We don't need to fill up, so let's reset that and take it off. Um, now we need to compact the gravel, ladies and gentlemen. Busy, busy, busy here on Construction Simulator today, aren't we? Let's go and have a look at the job that we've done. Look at that. Splendid stuff. Right, so we're going to need our uh, compactor now. Uh, which What have we got? We don't need the asphalt compactor. We need the soil compactor. I'm positive of it. Where we are in our uh, soil compactor. Get this job done and dusted. Up we go. Right, once we've got that roller on the gravel, well, we should be able to turn it on. There we go. And we can start compacting. Can't really see what I'm doing at the moment. We'll just trust the process. There we go. As we go around here, get this gravel nice and compacted. People can walk safely and visit the statue that we're going to erect. Yes, I said the word erect again. That's twice in one video. But we've uh, mentioned the word erect. That's three times now. Goodbye monetization. Easy for you to say, CGD. How we getting on? 60%. Now the compactor will disable itself. Because we've gone off the surface, we're supposed to be compacting. Now let's back up again. And we'll go straight up the middle. And then round those, uh, those, round those edges that we've uh, just missed. Switch her on again. There we go. Gotta love the sounds, haven't you? Of the, uh, the roller going over the gravel. You can hear it clanging away. I think what we'll do now, we'll just sort of go round in a swirling type action. Like so, keep turning, and then we can go there, like that. Almost done now, we're into the 90% mark. Keep turning, turning. 100%, jobs are good and... Right, so now we've got to excavate the planting pit. So what we'll do, we'll just move these over here. 
and then we'll go and have a look at what we've got to excavate like so we've got some holes there already I think we've got to excavate these three holes I reckon so the uh, piece of kit we're going to need for that is our hydraulic excavator so we're back with the excavator now now this is painful to drive this is because it's so slow it does eventually pick up speed if you keep your fingers on both triggers um, but once you turn like that it sort of resets itself and then we have to start all over again it takes a while for it to get up to speed but we're heading over here now to excavate these six holes there we go as you can see it's just slightly picked up speed there we go let's uh bring up the bucket this might be actually a little bit too big for this job we may have uh a bit of overkill here we might have been better with the backhoe loader as you see yeah that hole is uh quite big <laughs> not to worry let's get shut of that over there um let's move around let's get rid of the next hole you know what this game's like though we figures that you've you've got enough of what you need to get rid of and then it it sort of straightens out the hole for you anyway so it's no biggie trying to extend that arm there we go so i don't have to move forward a touch there we go yeah that is a huge hole we've just uh excavated but not to worry we are up to 63 percent Let's get rid of this one. Hundred percent. There we go. You see. See what I mean? How it just does it for you. Jobs are good, and you see. We might have been. It might have took us actually longer with the backhoe loader. But like I said, this is a little bit overkill, but it's going to get the job done in a jiffy. All right, you see huge hole 38 percent done already we drive over our freshly laid gravel we're turning the wrong way get shut to this hole now There's another 15 percent to go which is the next hole in fact, this is doing a grand job. We picked the right tool for the task here, didn't we? We certainly did. Let's move forward a touch. That will now be 100% complete. No, 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 no. Let's... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just keep that in there for the time being. Let's... Uh remove ourselves from the situation because i don't want to be dropping soil in there then we've got to remove the soil out of the marked area start all over again there we go you see right so deliver and uh, seedlings next so we need four pallets of seedlings are we going to fit them in the flatbed truck have we got the flatbed truck here can't remember if we've got it here or is it down at the museum still oh no it's here you think we can get four pallets in this bad boy? Right, so where do we need to go for seedlings? Is that the building material dealer? I don't think there's a garden centre, is there? I don't remember there being a garden centre. Let's try here anyway. Where we are at the uh, building material dealer. We'll jump out and run in pallet of seedlings so we're going to need four we'll enter let's have a look and see if they are here we've got pallets of hedge saplings stones concrete rebar mesh there we are pallets of seedlings 
Right, so we're going to need four of these. Uh, check out. So deliver to yard. So that's what we're going to do. Like I said, we've got to... If we have them delivered to the construction site, um, we will have to unload them there, load them and unload them anyway. Uh, Fort lift is over here. That's... Uh, where is it? There it is. Right. Let's jump in the forklift. Remember when we uh, we did the live stream of uh, Forklift Extreme? That was a lot of fun. That game. We might have to cover that game again. It's been I've not actually played it since uh, we did that live stream. It was a lot of fun. That was. Right, let's have a look at what we're doing here now. Try and remember the controls for the forklift. There we go. Get in there like so. Attach cargo. There we go. So I think what we're going to have to do now is uh, lower the sides of this. Now, how do I do that? Open close boards. That's what I want to do. That's the trick. And what can I actually pick these up with a crane, do you think? I'm not entirely sure if we can do that. Anyway, we'll load them up. On here. Lower that down. And we'll reverse out. Pick the other three up. Okay, so we've got three on board now. We've just got to get the last one. And then we can get these delivered to the job. And I think after this, we should be able to start building the statue. Well, let's uh, go and grab this bad boy. Lower. Oh, I keep forgetting to uh, go back to the actual vehicular mode rather than camera mode. There we go. Let's grab this. Perfect. Let's lift it up. We'll do a nice little reversing job here. Like so. Look at that. Spin it around. Load this onto the back of the flatbed. There we go. Reverse her up. Jobs are good. Right, so let's jump back in the truck. Uh, put the sides up. And we'll go deliver these to our little job. Nice day for a drive as well, actually. So uh, I'll see you once we get back on site. All right, so we've arrived back on site. So what we need to do now is unload them to that where those silhouette marks are. Now, fingers crossed I can use the crane for this because I haven't got a forklift on site. But let's see if we can do that. What we're going to need to do is change mode. Um, so let's lift the crane up. Into crane mode like so. That little white circle to appear. Yes. As you can see, it is allowing us to use the crane we could have done this actually back when we picked them up rather than messing around with a fort lift fort lift truck let's put these uh, like so why won't you let me pos pop it down there there we go perfect splendid stuff okay so one more uh, box of seedlings to go down I reckon what we'll probably have to do is unpack them and then they will probably uh, automatically plant. There we go. Right. So uh, let's reset the crane. Uh, we'll jump out the truck. We'll unpack the construction materials, which are the ceilings. And you'll probably see that they'll all... There we go. Yes, I thought this would be the case now. But now what we've got to do 
is actually plant them ourselves with the truck, I would think. E, I tell you, it's all go. So now, what I'm thinking is, do I load them onto the truck? Or do you think I can reach them from in the middle here and plant each one without having to move? That's my thinking. And I'm also thinking... Where's my bloody gravel gone? That's what I'm thinking. Where's all that gravel gone that I bloody just put down? Someone come and nicked it overnight or what? Anyway. Let's go... Into crane mode. We'll see if this... Uh, clever plan of mine... Has actually worked or... I'm going to have to load them up individually and then drive around with each one. Fingers crossed. This reaches. It's a straighten the crane arm out like so. That's it. Bring it down. Right, let's see if this reaches. We'll go for the furthest one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Reach, 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 reach. Beautiful! Go on, are you going to reach? Yes. Right, so we'll lift that up. Bring the arm in. Like so. And pop it down. There we go. Right, let's get the next one. Okay, so we've got hold of the last sapling now. And uh, we're going to pop it in here. So we'll probably have to clear the area and then they'll all get covered over and that will be a good job done. Okay, so now we need to place special components which are wooden crates from all accounts. So uh, let's go into drive mode, but first of all we need to uh, reset. There we go, now we can go into drive mode. The gravel's back everybody, the gravel's back. So according uh, to the stats up there, this is 89% done now. This is. I can't see how. If we go here. Let's have a look. What have we got to do? Oh, the special component, then unpacking. Special component. Yeah, I think we're nearly done. Right then, so, um, special components, I need to go and get the wooden crates. So I'll go get these wooden crates, come back with them, we'll lower them onto site, and get it all unpacked. Fingers crossed. And where do I find the wooden crates? <laughs> okay, I've found the wooden crates, everybody. They are here. So fingers crossed we can park up here and uh, get into crane mode. And fingers crossed this crane actually picks them up. As uh, NPC walks through the truck there. Right, fingers crossed this works. We don't need anything bigger. I can't see it being a problem. There we go. Let's hook that up. In fact, we'll get that one furthest away first. Like so. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Right, let's get this lot loaded up and back to sight. Swing it around. Let's bring this one as close as possible to the back. And then we've got room for the other one. Can we get it further back? Don't think we can, can we? Um, right, we're, we're just going to have to try this. And see how it goes and see if the other one actually does fit at the back there. Fingers crossed it does. This is going to be very top heavy, isn't it? Let's move across here. Night starts to fall again. Another day passes on this job. All go though, innit? Am I going to take... Am I going to need those other boxes? That's the thing. 
I'm going to need to take them. Well, I think it might fit, you know. I think it might fit. I think we are going to need these other two components. Oh, no. I think we're good. I think we're good. Right, so let's reset. Back into drive mode. And we'll uh, head back over to the site. I think we are going to need to come back for those other components, you know. Right. Back on site. Let's dump these crates down. So, uh, let's change mode. Oh, it's exciting stuff. Another task almost complete here on Construction Simulator. There we go. Unfold the crane. Right, we'll pick that one up. Lift her up. Swing her around and pop it down. Like so. Need to extend the arm out ever so slightly. Go on. There you go. Perfect. Right, swing it around again. Well, probably what we're going to have to do is unpack them and then put them into place again. Where am I up to here? Bring the arm in, Lee. Bring the arm in, son. That's it. Lift it up. Swing it round. do -si do Pop it down there. Oh, come on. What's up with you, man? You're losing all your using all your bearings here you've managed all bloody video to to do this come on that's it all right let's jump out we'll unpack the construction materials which is the statue there we go what have we got now clear the marked area clear the marked area yes and now i think we do have to as i thought we would do is uh, take the statue out of the box and place it on the plinth provided. So, uh, we'll go, we'll reset the crane, go into drive mode, we'll just reposition our truck ever so slightly. Doing our best not to take that uh, freshly planted uh, shrubbery out. There we go. And we will change mode. Excellent stuff. Right. Let's uh, get the statue out of its box. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Statue of the Night. Jobs are good. All right, so let's clear the construction site now. Uh, reset that into drive mode. We'll get shut of all our construction equipment. Drive into the portal of that. We'll move it onto the road just to be sure. And there we go. Right, what else have we got on here? Yeah, let's get rid of the compactor. Can we talk to you now? No, we've got to get rid of all this stuff first, have we? Fair enough. Okay, so all we've got to do now is get rid of the dozer. And that should be... Oh, hang on a minute. Have we got some machinery out for rent? What have we got out for rent? Oh, the mobile crane. Let's return it. Blimey, O'Reilly. That was costing me seven grand a day, that was. Right. Didn't realise. I mean, we're not doing too bad for money. We've got almost two million in the bank now. You can say we are quite a successful uh, construction company. Whoops, a daisy. Well, that is the construction site clear. 
We'll go chat to this fella. And we'll get paid. This has become a beautiful place of remembrance. Thank you. I am glad that people can learn more about the past of their city. We still don't know exactly what happened, but the knight statue has finally found its place. This way, the knight story can be rediscovered by many people every day, and maybe it will even lead them to our museum. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Job completed. So that's three quarters uh, of the uh, of this uh, section done now. Ooh, it looks smart. I don't remember putting all these lights in and everything though, but uh, not to worry. It'd be nice if you could come along and sit down. But there, there we go. The night is in its place of pride now. There. So everybody can learn about the night. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, please show your appreciation by hitting that like button. Uh, if you're new to the channel, possibly consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you know when I go live and new content drops onto the channel. But once again, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all on the next one. Goodbye.